Howdy everyone, Runt9 here, and welcome back to Runt9 Plays Nova Drift. I uh, made a big mistake and uh, was doing a research run and accidentally took a mod instead of banishing it. And so we are now on our third run here. I basically just want a palate cleanser. I want something that I, I know and enjoy. We just did a railgun run on the last one, so we're not going to do that. So how about a good classic dart spam run? You know I love a good dart spam run. That means we need to fish for Halo, and we need to fish for Firefly. Hopefully I don't have to eat this and end up taking uh, yet another recording. But we need Firefly. That's just like a fundamental part of having all of the burn damage. We didn't get it there. We did get it there. Okay. So we're, we're just going to do a dart spam run. You know what? It's, it's probably my favorite build at this point. And so if I'm talking about a palette cleanser, that's probably the build that I'm going to do. And so where do we shoot for with a, uh, a dart spam round? Honestly, with the way that I'm playing today and with as tired as I am, I think that probably like right at 1.1 million is going to be the target. So rate of fire, getting to burst fire early on, just basically fine. And just taking ridiculously terrible crash damage here. Can I have the shield back, please? What's the, what's the cooldown? 6.5 seconds. Not that bad. I don't know, it just felt like the shield cooldown took a day and a half. Alright, now we can get in range and give you some nice toasty burn damage. Alright, so burst fire right out of the gate. I, uh, I'm fine with that on a dirt run. And I think that with this, what we've been mostly doing... So actually, this is something where because of the insane way that darts scale that I actually think that we should go volley tree on it. You know, last time in the railgun run, we were like, honestly, the volley tree didn't feel that bad. And you're giving me a twin strike out of the gate. It's like the game wants us to have a palette cleanser. Uh, let's get to Gemini protocol pretty quickly. And this is, we already have like basically everything we need. I've run a single twin strike on this build before and it works just fine. Magnitude is a big pickup, but I think uh, because of the burst fire, let's go targeting. And then Candescence is like absolutely one of the biggest must-haves on this build. And yeah, I just am going to forget to dodge. Not even forget to dodge, just like literally stare at it knowing I need to dodge it. And instead, just not dodge it. Because I think that's the best way to play is just whenever your brain tells you you should do something, just don't. That's usually the best way to win at video games. Alright, so this guy, he can actually be a bit of a pain early. This is where you kind of got to get in there and do some of the damage yourself with the shield and the firefly pull damage. There you go. Yeah, obviously we lost our shield there, but I'm not surprised. Guidance, slow moving, convergence, absolutely. Just give me all of the projectiles. Are they smaller? Yes. Do I think it matters? Honestly, no. Like, go ahead and see for yourself the damage that we're doing right out of the gate. And then Warp Strike is something that we need ASAP, because darts do not decay. And so Warp Strike is legitimately one of the single best upgrades on this build. You know, it's, it's absolutely fundamentally core to the build. And I do think that... You know, I, I would have to see the actual underlying math. But if you look at darts, the uh, they scale with their size as burn damage over their duration. But it's plus 1% burn damage per total darts lodged in its target. So I don't know what the scaling with the size is. But if you figure at this point, convergence is plus 2 projectiles plus twin strikes. So that's 4 plus a burst of 3. So if we lodge every single one in an enemy, that is increased 12% burn damage. Plus just the raw damage that each one does. Now there's a lot of enemies here and I'm fully aware of this fact. We need to focus on getting them killed and not taking dumb damage, which is exactly what we're doing. Uh, I don't know why I'm playing so poorly these past couple days. I think I'm getting just like, not burnout, but just Playing so many different games and trying to focus so much on so many different aspects of streaming, 
I think it's just starting to get to me that my mind isn't 100% focused on the game anymore. And that's obviously, like, less than ideal. Corrosion is a good one. I'm not even going to worry about the fact that we don't have Terminate. Because with all the damage that we're doing, like, it's, it's not going to matter. And again, X% percent burn damage is a very large amount when you're putting this many darts in an enemy. In a sea anemone. Alright. Snipe. Need it for warp strike. Definitely gonna pick that up. Uh, we need essence sap. I just realized that we are like not sitting on very much HP right now. And so if our shield goes down, we're probably dead. Because our regen is so bad. So we need to prioritize getting essence sap up and running. An essence sap on dart spam is like non-negotiable. Like, I realize that I do it all the time, but the thing is, with you doing constant damage ticks from the darts being lodged in enemies, you heal an, obs a, an obscene amount, is the, the wording I was trying to use. Oh, thank you for killing the jug for us. Okay, so a single double tap I think is okay. I definitely wouldn't want to go more than that, but it will increase our damage. And then uh, definitely payload on this one, because again, dart size is a big increase to its damage. Yeah, this is definitely like right at the point where a full charge is a good amount of time once we get charge shot. And just uh, dodge these projectiles because we don't have plating, so it will hurt a lot. Incendiary Strike really doesn't matter. Uh, Deadly Wake, more burn damage while also being important from getting to Warp Strike. It's my preferred way to get there. I don't really care for Streamline that much, honestly. And that's just a personal preference from like a, a tankiness and survivability perspective. Splinter, also an important pickup. Now that I've learned how good it is on this build. For that reason right there. <laughs> All right, so we're at a point where without charge shot, the time between bursts is just really high. So we want to get to charge shot as quickly as possible. All right, had an itch that I had to scritch. Yep, commentary. I, I would rate my commentary about a C minus right now. And, you know, I, I'm aware of it and I would love to say I have a solution or I have a valid reason. I honestly don't even know. Like, I'm just kind of tired and at the point of I know that it's not as good as I want it to be and I'm kind of overanalyzing that and I think that's making it worse and it is kind of a, a spiral. But I, I'm here. I'm And the thing is, like, I'm having a lot of fun. That's the worst part. I'm having a lot of fun. I just don't know why I'm not clicking as much as I should be. And this is, like, why I love the dart spam build so much is just look at how easy this Scion kill is. It'll be dead before it even gets past the laser phase. Oh, we don't have Terminate, okay. I was like, why is it dead yet? Why, why is it not dead yet? It's because we don't have Terminate yet. Which, speaking of which, we need that pretty quickly. I think Revelation, either for Solar Heart or Twin Strikes, is gonna be something that I just wanna keep it around. And Purification is a huge damage increase to this build, but I'm not going to worry about that right this second. I think that just having Revelation because of Twin Strikes or Solar Hearts, or um, Masochism, also a good one because Masochism is going to help us with the self-damage that we're going to end up doing. Since I do think that Solar Hearts on this build are incredibly good. And you can just see the sheer amount of damage. All of the 2,000 damage ticks. Alright, Celestial should be easy to take down. Absolutely it is. That's an easy kill. And it's dead from the splinters before anything else happens. Blitz I don't think is very good. I, I think that you take Blink here, get to Warp Strike. Warp Strike, again, being just a huge increase to wave clearing, especially when Splinter is factored in. 
Like, this wave would be so much quicker to be killed with uh, Warp Strike. And I know that you guys have seen this build a million times, and it's like, oh, another Dart Spam build? Yeah, but, I mean, it's also like... I, I'm not going to call it my trademark build, but it's the build that... I showed could be competitive in Nova Drift. Oh, you know what? I do have something interesting to talk about. Is, uh... The uh, channel update came out on Sunday. And one of the things I mentioned is that we're going to do top 10 videos now. And the very first top 10 video that I'm going to do is top 10 upgrades in Nova Drift. And this is going to include body uh, hulls and shields as well. And so I haven't put the list together yet, but I'm really excited about it because I think that's going to be a lot of fun to put together. Purification is a big one. I do think that uh, we are going to try the Volley Tree. Purification, Warp Strike, like, we're we're ticking at this point. Um, basically, as soon as we get Charge Shot, I'm going to want to focus on survivability for a bit. Because we basically have all the pieces of the puzzle at this point. You can see all the darts flying around. And it's just, it's, it's an incredible amount of damage. Incredible amount of wave clear. Uh, we also took an incredible amount of damage there. Let's not talk about that. Calibrate is good, but like, we need charge shot. Because the bursts are lengthy. And without charge shot, we're kind of just in a position where... We're sitting here doing subpar shooting. I, I think that Terminate is also good enough that I'll go ahead and pick it up. And, you know, because I only want to use our rerolls to fish for charge shot when we don't have something else that's also just something we know we're going to take in the build at some point anyways. Like, we're not at a point where it's mandatory that we get charge shot. We also are definitely getting through the waves very quickly. This is a point where I'm like, all right, now I kind of wish we had charge shot because we just took a bunch of really bad damage there. Just keep spamming. That's that's what this is about. That's why I call it dart spam, is just keep spamming. Can we get this guy dead, please? Ah, okay, good. And he splintered, so that's more darts in the boss. At this point, yeah, I'm gonna fish for charge shot. I'm gonna use every reroll until we get it. There it is, you love to see it. And now things are very, very dead. So yeah, that we will definitely not take another double tap. We are in a very good spot with that. We will take twin strikes if they pop up, solar hearts, masochism, stuff like that. But uh, yeah, the revelation is definitely not going on to a double tap. And if I see another double tap, I, I, I will not take it. Because the time between shots, the time to charge is definitely at a good spot where I don't want to mess with it. And now you see the power of the dart spam build. This is where you want to be. This is the palate cleanser, and now I can just kind of sit back and be like, all right, we're here. This is everything that you want. Um, no, I can't purge it because mastery, masochism, and whole strength are all important pickups. I think mastery is probably the one that we want the most just for the global overall positive benefits. Essence Sap is probably the next most important upgrade to get. We have Terminate, and so Essence Sap is already in the pool. I think we just need to get there. So this unit, I mean, honestly, just go around behind it. And uh, Shield Cooldown would be very nice right now. We have taken a bunch of damage. And just try to stay safe for a minute. Alright, Scions are not really a concern when we have this build ticking because they stand still, and so it's very easy to get inside their armor. Um, you know, I talked about this. I actually do think that Volley is still beneficial here, just because of the sheer percentages that work in our favor with what we've got going on. Hey, I actually dodged some shots for once this run. Or really, this recording session. Because I, I recorded two episodes that were not good enough, or two runs that were not good enough for YouTube, and I'm like, I'm not even going to put these in an episode and do a meme build. So, I, I've, I've had some issues dodging tonight. Alright, Essence Sap, please and thank you. 
Focus Fire is actually a pretty good one. But I think that Essence Sap is too high priority to go that route. Yeah, I think we, we need to have it. We also need to get Gemini Protocol to pair with it. But the, the healing from Essence Sap with the burn damage on Dart Spam is exactly why I think it's just... Not just mandatory, but literally the only reasonable way to do survivability for this build. And again, I, I do expect that at some point, burn damage will not trigger Essence Sap. And I think that it should be that way because it is too overpowered this way. But I'm going to utilize the fact that that is a thing for the time being. We took a bunch of bad damage there. Which I've said a lot, and I would prefer to stop saying that, but I have to stop taking bad damage in order to stop saying that. Singularity detected. This is where you just kind of play safe for a minute, and we can probably afford to upgrade now, but I'll kind of wait for the Singularity to be gone. We'll start just pumping as many darts as humanly possible into this jug. And he's dead before the Singularity even gets out of there. You'll love to see it. All right, it's Seraph time. Let's go ahead and grab our upgrade. Um, I honestly don't think we need Obsession. Heavy Caliber is very, very tempting, though. I've already popped our Revelation. Revelation on Heavy Caliber, that's that's a lot of recoil. That's minus 6% rate of fire. But I think the reduced velocity and the huge increase to the size is worth it. This might be a run-ender. Like, I'm going to fully accept... 110% responsibility if this ends our run because of the recoil. But I think, like, look at the damage on that, though. The damage is obscene. We may kill him before he... We killed the Seraph before he got out of the first phase. Like, obviously, I don't want any more heavy calibers. The recoil is bad and annoying to deal with. And I, I would absolutely, like, pick up as many defiances as we see, but, like, can we just talk about how incredible the damage output is? I actually think the velocity may be a little bit too low, if you can believe that, because it takes a while for these extra darts to get there as they're kind of swarming about. But it also means that whenever a wave comes in, there's darts ready to go stick into their sides. I think Absorption is a good one here. Um, you know, obviously Rancor doesn't do a lot for us, but it's never a bad idea to have Rancor in a build like this. Although the, the further reduction to movement speed while charging may not be a good idea, now that I think about it. So actually, I think we will avoid Rancor on this one. And let's, let's just work on tankiness. We picked up hull strength, we need shield strength. And I mean, just look at that. Just the easiest Spitfire one-shot in human history. Big Jug? Alright, here. I got a present for you. It's called literally two volleys. Plus a little bit of whatever was already on the screen when you appeared. Let's try to avoid the singularity. Yeah, you know what? I know that we've done heavy caliber on dark spam runs before. And again, I don't like the recoil. But... I don't think we've ever tripled down on it, and this is just incredible. Like, that's two volleys, the second one not even fully pointed at the jug, and a full jug is dead. Okay, so now I have a little bit higher aspirations for this one, because with the incredible amount of damage we're at, we would be able to take down a Scion in probably two volleys, maybe even only one. And so we should be able to pass wave 200, which puts us in bidding distance of one and a half million. Which I think is about where we topped out at on our best uh, dart spam run at this point. I mean, we do need to actually still dodge and also make sure that we're still shooting and charging and all that. Like, definitely don't get complacent. This is very easy to get complacent at this point in a run, and I think that we still don't have the level of durability to go that route. I do think Barrier is a good solid pickup here in addition to, um, I guess I don't know why I never took Reflexive Shields. For some reason I thought that Reflexive Shields had a downside 
and it doesn't. It's just absolutely one that we want all the time. Also, shield effect radius along with um, focus shields, because this increases it by 20%, this decreases it by 25, but it's a 5% max shield and increased effect power. So anything that gets nearby us is very dead. Stabilization for power reserves. There's a lot of good pickups here. I think that barrier is the best survivability increase of the options, though. So at this point, like I said, I think we just focus on survivability. You know, finish out our build as necessary, but we're, we're in an incredible spot. So Spitfire, just here you go. Have some darts. A, uh, I believe that is a champion level eclipse, and it's also just incredibly dead. I'm pretty sure that that was... Um, oh god, I forgot the name of the enemy. But it literally died from the splinters that already existed on the screen. Okay, so we went from this run is okay, this run is okay, this run is okay, to this run is just incredible in a very short period of time. So you also, like, don't want to fight Celestials by trying to crash damage them. That's not the preferred way to fight them. You usually want to, like, you know, do damage from afar. Unless you're actually a crash damage build, in which case, absolutely kill them. And that's probably something that, like, at some point I should get good enough with crash damage builds to actually put one up on the channel. But finding the time to practice that is uh, something I don't have a lot of. I also just have more fun with weapon damage builds as well. Crash damage build builds are not easier for me. They're much harder and also less fun. You know what? I think this is the first time I've actually seen a baby jug and an elite jug side by side and never realized that... There's, uh, there's definitely three different levels because you have, just like everything else, a regular, an elite, and a champion. Alright, so Rancor, Masochism, Force Armor. I mean, Force Armor is also just a great one for survivability. I'm not against that as an option. I don't think, I don't think we want Rancor because it's more minus thrust and it makes the thrust penalty while charging worse. It does also increase max hull and weapon damage, but now I, I'm going to avoid it. I say force armor for the survivability. And I don't want increased projectile spread. I, I want focus fire, actually. So shield cooldown, also a good uh, survivability increase. I don't think we have... Do we have Gemini protocol? I'm pretty sure we don't. Let's double check that. We already picked that up. We have efficiency. Okay, yeah, yeah, yeah. We have Gemini. So we're, we're in a good spot as far as that's concerned. Uh, something we haven't picked up yet that is also a nice pickup on this type of build is Rupture. Just because it helps with some of the wave clear. I mean, obviously Corrosion can do a lot of that on its own, but it, it's something that is kind of a nice to have. A luxury, if you will. We are at level 40, so we should pretty much consider the build roughly complete. There's not going to be a lot of chances to add things to the build at this point. And uh, honestly, like, at this point, I'm fine just whenever we do get an upgrade, grab something that increases our survivability. Like Juggernaut, absolutely. Does that make it harder to circle straight the Seraph? Yeah. But do I also think that we could murder the Seraph in such a short amount of time that it doesn't matter? Also, yes. Okay, so this is a super spicy wave just because of how many enemies they can spawn, but got through it without too much trouble. And that time, it's like, I could have spun around and shot, but why not just shoot across the other side of the screen and let Warp Strike handle the rest? You love to see it. You absolutely love to see it. This, this build is so much fun. I love playing it every time that I do. And this is one of those that's like, is it a break from the traditional experimentation that we've been doing over the past few episodes? Yeah. But I also am like, but it's so fun, and it's just another testament to, like, how often I can play exactly the same build in Nova Drift and still enjoy it. One moment. Let me make sure I get this Celestial taken care of. All right. Easy enough. Okay, so we've got a Scion. This, this will be a good test. Like, where are we going to be when Wave 200 hits? 
Okay, so the second volley would have killed it with the, the dart stuck inside of it. We didn't need the third volley. The third volley was just there to make the death even faster. So being able to kill... Now, granted, I understand scaling health. It's going to have more health when we get there. We probably will also have a... Uh, well, I say probably. We're at wave 155. We might have a solar heart by then, which would uh, give us at least another you know few percent worth of burn damage. We might also have uh, Fusilod, which... I am going to take because with the heavy calibers, I think or, uh, we're in a spot where I'm okay with that, with the, the negatives. Get out of there. Taking some damage. Shield cooldown, please and thank you. I think we're, uh, are we, we skipped obsession on this one, didn't we? Yeah, we took the revelation, but we only have the single twin strike and I don't think we need more. So we don't have a lot of the major negatives. And then Focus Fire, absolutely, I'm uh, on board with Focus Fire here. Because that gets the darts stuck into the target we want much, much easier. That'll help a lot against Scions. Because then projectile targeting has much less work to do to correct the ones on the edges. Yeah, focus fire from the volley tree. I think that I I think even without fusilod, like with the dart span build, it's worth it just for focus fire. Like it may not be worth it on the some of the other builds that utilize pretty much the exact same primary, I guess, damage dealers or whatever you want to call it. You know, the burst fires and the twin strikes and everything. It may not be as good on those, but I think on like on a split shot but i think on this one like you can see just how much better we're able to operate against single targets so like this spitfire i mean he we missed a lot of those shots and he's still dead actually kind of a good thing that we missed the shots because some of it could stick in the other enemy behind him so we're just going to keep running around in the middle and trying to stay alive again not going to take the double tap but i do think reflexive shields is actually a, a solid pickup here it can add to our damage, and um, also 5% max shields is not a small amount. Tankiness is very important because once you get later on, you can't rely solely on, hey, I'm going to just out-damage what they're doing. I'm going to kill them before they do anything to us. And you can see, like, we our shield had pretty much almost dropped there for a second, I believe. We're our, we are up to the uh, almost the 850 mark, so this should be a 1 million run. Like, I would be shocked at this point if we uh, if we lost the million. But I, I have my sights set a little bit higher. I want to get us a wave 200 kill. I think it's been a moment since we uh, got past that, although it's also entirely possible we beat it last week and I totally forgot. But I, I want to I wanna get us a wave 200 kill, you know, get us past that major milestone. Been a moment since we got there, and... From there, you know, I, I think one and a half million is a good top out for this run. It'll put us around the 45 minute range or so. Been around 28 minutes so far. Honestly, making some great time through uh, through these waves as well. That jug is so dead. Yeah, yeah, yeah. You have an upgrade available. And, you know, it's time to start getting really selective with what we choose. We can't really go into like, hey, this leads into a tree that's interesting. So how bad does Fuselod ruin things? Minus 10% size, doubles base projectiles, and adds one projectile. So that'll be plus three more projectiles. So we lose roughly 10% damage from the size, I think. Projectile damage itself doesn't matter. I think this is just ultimately better. The minus velocity and the min uh, plus projectile spread scares me a bit. But I think that just adding so many more projectiles to the mix, it, it won't end up mattering. And this gets us back to the point where, like, Focus Fire did hurt our wave clear a little bit. This just completely undoes that, and our wave clear is back to being insane levels. Especially with Splinter, because I think Splinter works off of the, the base projectiles for how it calculates how many projectiles Splinter out. Primary projectiles splinter into weaker mini projectiles when destroyed on impact. Projectile size and count affect the number of splinters per projectile. So yes, the size and count are both important, and so having a higher projectile count is uh, better for splinter, 
which is better for wave clear, which is also better for single target clearing when they have adds. Is that just a scion, like a free scion death? Very much appreciated. I'll take it. All right, so unfortunately the Spitfire was able to fire its shot. Our shield is down, so we need to play safe for a moment here. Don't take any crash damage. Try to get the shield off cooldown. We want we want to not take any damage. Get the shield off cooldown. Make sure we are still firing though, because Essence Sap can help keep us alive in this spicy situation. Shield cooldown is not back yet. We are still taking damage. I I ran into the um, the orb that the Eclipse puts out. This is this is spicy. We may die here. I don't know that we can get our shield off cooldown in time. Essence Sap is obviously doing a lot of good work here, but Essence Sap alone isn't going to do it. Oh! That was too good of a build to be a sub-million run. Man, I ruined it. I do not know why I'm playing so poorly. This is definitely the end of my recording day. I'm hungry. I'm going to go eat some dinner. And uh, unfortunately, not going to be able to chain some Nova Drift episodes together like I prefer to do. But uh, no, this is... Uh, Dart spam. This is a sad dart spam. I mean, you see where where the the best one was. That's that's gonna have to do it though. So um, kind of a disappointing ending to what was otherwise like a super pogged up run. And uh, hopefully you enjoyed it. And you know, like I said, it was a palate cleanser. We'll go back to experimenting tomorrow or Wednesday and uh, try out something a little bit more unique and try to put it up in that million range. But anyways, that's going to do it. Thank you so much for watching. If you enjoyed the episode, it would really help a lot if you click the like button. And the reason why is because that tells the YouTube algorithm to show this video to more people. So if you enjoyed what you saw and you think that more people would possibly be interested in it, the best thing you can do is just click a like on this video. In addition, comment. I want to hear your feedback so I can chat with you as well. And uh, make sure you check out the link tree in the description below. That is a great place to keep up with where all of our stuff is at. Uh, Twitch, Twitter, Discord. I'm sorry. I've, I've completely botched this outro. You know what to do. You've heard it all before. Thank you so much for watching. Until the next episode, I'm Runt9, and I'll see you later.